Hello, this is Damir for the Droid Effect and today I want to show you a bit of the Sony Xperia Z's performance in benchmarks as well as in general, then some gaming followed by one example of the cost throttling due to the heating. Don't worry, I will fast forward and cut off the boring part to focus on the important stuff. I've already shown you what happened with using the camera and right now I'm not sure if it's a 4D unit or not, so I'm just showing you what I'm seeing myself. Ok, let's start with the synthetic benchmarks. Ok, let's check it. Ok, we got 20,000 and about 500, usually I get about 21,000, but that's ok I think. Ok, as you can see we've got about 33,500 this time. Let's check the next benchmark. Let's do Chrome Beta. Sunspider benchmark. Okay, there we have it. 718 milliseconds. So that's it for the synthetic benchmarks. Now we'll show you some examples of the real life performance. Okay, let's take a look at the real life performance now. Let's start with robot. As you can see, this is buttery smooth, no hiccups at all. This is as good as it gets. Absolutely flawless. And that's the same thing I'm experiencing in daily use. Now let's check robot. Also pretty nice, but some occasional hiccup, but I just think this is really the optimization of the app because I haven't seen any device until now really handling Falcon 100%, but as you can see, it's pretty awesome. It's some occasional hiccups, but don't worry anything about that. Let's check the browser. Let's check this. Okay, let's check this. It's finished loading. Okay, as you can see, absolute flawless performance. Couldn't be any better, I think. Let's check G Plus once more. This is about the most intense app I know in terms of scrolling because it's always loading, but even here, the Snapdragon 800 has no real issue. I think even my internet connection isn't fast enough to keep up. To keep up, But as you can see, awesome performance. And also one thing, I think this is the first device I have to draw completely lag-free when I switch over from one tab to another. Even the Nexus 7 2014 had small hiccups, but this one hasn't any at all. So... To sum it up, the general performance in daily use is absolutely flawless. I, it, ru it really couldn't be any better, I think. Not much at, at least. But of course, there's always improvement for more. So this was the real life performance. Now let's check the gaming performance.
Okay, I now gave the device a fair amount of time to let it cool down. Let's check time, it's 12.01 and I will play off screen for a while now and get back to you when the flooding will start to show you what happens. Okay, till later. Okay, the device has throttled a bit now and of course since I'm recording it now it doesn't throttle as much as it did off screen last time I checked it. But maybe you can see it doesn't really run that smooth anymore but it's way better than the last time because the last time and that's why I'm doing this video it got so sluggish, it got so slow it didn't even reach many, maybe 10 or 15 frames per second and it got extremely sluggish. And I will show you the results in benchmarks as well. Like I said, it didn't this time that much, but just to show you a few benchmark results of earlier. As, you, as if you may remember, we got 34,000 the last time. Right now, a few minutes ago, I got 23,000. And let's check it like you see 33 but the last time it really throttled extremely i only got 8700 on quadrant and not like the 21 you saw in the video so you see this is a huge throttling i don't know why it doesn't maybe it has to do something because i was on 3g the last time i played and now i'm on wi-fi maybe that causes a little heat extra because now the game is even playable if you see after about 20 minutes but when I was outside of home and played for about let's say 10 minutes it was three races it got down so hot the device to 8700 8, and right now it's warm but it isn't that hot as it was so yeah that's what I wanted to share with you like I said it's right now not extreme like it was before but still it shouldn't after 20 minutes jump to 23 that's still quite a nice drop okay that's it for the performance part if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel or let me know what you think of it okay bye